Hey, welcome to the new edition of Localizing Development. I am Moralaya. This edition, Localizing Development, focuses on spreading more light on the mountain of governance and politics. Mm. Today we'll be looking at politics, a game of debt. That's this topic, politics, a game of debt. I'm going to start by saying that... Um, the political terrain in Nigeria and in Africa is gradually changing. I mean, the political atmosphere is changing, especially with the passing of the new not too young to run bill. I tell you, everyone is excited about that bill. And the truth is, it, it's a positive development in the right direction. However, when I sit back to think about the involvement of all this development i realize that there are still more areas we need to address there are areas we need to tackle for example politics in nigeria or in africa is known to be a game of death and i think that if that continues then it doesn't matter whether it's it's the young people that wants to take over the leadership corridor or the whole person the truth is if it still a game of debt then i tell you it's going to drive away the young people even far they, they will still be scared to come in if our politics is still characterized by shedding of blood um, engaging political talks then i tell you we are still making it unattractive to the young people to run each and every one of us as young persons we are still scared to go into the political field why because we are we, we, we are scared of losing our lives. We see what is happening everywhere when it's election period. You see so much social and political unrest. You see people maiming, killing, shooting unnecessarily, taking innocent life for no reason. So we need to change our approach. We need to change our technique. We need to make our politics unattractive. We, we need to make it non-lucrative. We need to get to a point whereby our politics is no longer the game of death. We need to look at how the developed nations are doing politics. I mean, they are not threatened by their opponent. They don't make it a do or die affair. It is only in Africa that we make politics a do or die affair. And we are willing to take lives, you know, just to get to that political office. This is not right. We need to change this approach. If we want the young people to become interested in getting to the corridors of power then we need to address that we need to stop engaging political talks we need to stop breeding rogues robbers and 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 people carrying unauthorized ammunition in the name of uh, of um, political campaign we need to stop all of that we need to sanitize our politics and our polity and if that can be done, we will realize that the younger generation will no longer be scared to get involved in politics. I look forward to a day whereby I would not have to think twice about the security or the safety of my life and property before I join politics. I mean, sometimes when, the, the, when people who are, who are genuinely interested in politics tell their family members that oh i would like to join politics they start pleading with the person oh please don't go don't join here why because we don't want to lose you we don't want to lose you we still love you why because they see it as a game of that god we want that era to face out we want a new era whereby we can become players in the political field without fear of being getting rid of it without fear of being eliminated without fear of being um taken down i mean it's it's supposed to be um it's supposed to be a form of contest when you contest and you don't lose i mean you should still be happy for your opponent i mean you shouldn't be a do or die affair i hope that as our polity develop or evolve in nigeria we would do away with political talks we would do away with assassination we would do away with with taking politics as a game of death thank you for joining us today we hope to continue on this series of localizing development next we'll be looking at another interesting topic it promises to be 
insightful and exciting. I remain Morelia. Well, see you again next week. You can visit our website for more information. Morelightng.org. Till then, see you again.